most of what we know about astronomy comes from observations of light. How is that light produced? Before proceeding with this video, make sure to review the description and behavior of waves. Light is an electromagnetic wave characterized by wavelength and frequency. What we observe as a color of light is related to its wavelength and hence frequency. Specifically for visible light, it ranges from a wavelength of about 400 nanometers corresponding to violet to 700 nanometers corresponding to the red end of the visible spectrum. What we see as a color of light does not even have to be a single wavelength. It can be a combination of different colors. For example, the color purple is a combination of two different colors, blue and red. When we break apart light into its component colors, we call it a spectrum. Different materials can emit different wavelengths and hence will have different spectra when observed. To understand what we see in a spectrum, we need to understand the nature of matter. Matter is made up of atoms. These are small particles about one tenth of one billionth of a meter in size. Atoms aren't the smallest particle either, as they are made up of even smaller particles, such as protons and neutrons in its nucleus, orbited by negatively charged electrons. Electron orbits aren't random like planetary orbits, rather due to the nature of quantum mechanics, they are always at discrete energy levels. Light carries energy in packets called photons. 
when light interacts with an electron orbiting an atomic nucleus, it can change its energy and hence its orbit. When the atoms of a cool gas are in our field of view of some light source, then the electrons of those atoms can absorb some of that light. The electron will gain the energy of the photon and jump to a higher orbit. The light will be subtracted out from the spectrum at the exact energies that the electron gained. These discrete energies will show up as discrete frequencies of light in the spectrum. Alternately, if we have an energized gas with electrons in excited orbits, then the electrons can drop down onto a lower energy orbit and the energy given up will be in the form of a photon of that same energy. These will show up as discrete, thin emission lines in the spectrum. Because the electron orbits are dictated by quantum mechanics, they are unique to each element. Hence, in observations, we can use the spectrum to identify what element or multiple elements are present in the spectrum. Ready elemental identification in spectra is limited to thin gases only. For thick opaque materials where atom to atom interaction blurs the energies You will get all the colors of the spectrum known as a continuum. Emission from such bodies will produce colors based more on temperature rather than composition.